On the night of 3rd April 1995, on the island of Zanzibar, a man was walking on the road. He was a psychiatric patient who had traveled from the mainland of Tanzania to visit a facility on the island and was therefore a stranger in the area. A local resident opened his front door, stepped outside and happened to see the stranger walking past his house. The stranger wore a strange amulet around his neck. The local man was very startled and shouted out to his neighbors. The stranger got scared and started running. Suddenly, a lynch mark was formed, and the poor man was pursued by the islanders, who brandished machetes, knives, and clubs, with yells of, Papa Bawa! They caught up with the poor man and beat him until he was dead. This was followed by chants of, Papa Bawa is dead! Papa Bawa is dead! This was indeed a tragic and devastating tale, born of mass hysteria. But what caused such a panic at the mere sight of a stranger that the residents of Zanzibar town resorted to murder? A few weeks prior to this attack, locals in the area had been terrorized by what they called the Papa Bawa, who was attacking men and women in their beds while they slept. They were therefore on high alert and took to staying up instead of going to bed. The saddest part is that this was not an isolated incident. There have been at least six people who have been at the mercy of a lynch mob and falsely accused of being a Papa Bauer. So what is this creature that has caused widespread hysteria on the east coast of Africa? A Papa Bauer is a vampire-like creature whose literal name in Swahili means bat wing. It is a shapeshifter, so it can take many forms. The bat wing refers to the shadow that it casts when it attacks a victim, but it can also take the form of people and animals. Papa Bauer usually visit homes late at night, but it can also be seen in the daytime. The creature attacks men, women, and children, and the assaults come in the form of poltergeist activity and sexual assault. They are said to be accompanied by a terrible sulfuric stench. The local resident mentioned above claimed that the murdered man gave off a similar smell, which strengthened his conviction that the stranger was indeed the Papa Bauer. No one really knows about the true origins of this winged beast, but sightings of the Papa Bauer go back only a few decades. Compared to other supernatural creatures, the Papa Bauer is relatively new. There is one popular myth that is told to explain its existence. It states that in the 1970s, an angry sheikh released a jinn to take vengeance on his neighbors. But the sheikh could not control the spirit, and the jinn began to wreak havoc on the rest of the neighborhood. There is a discrepancy in the story, however, as the first recorded sighting of the creature was in the 1960s on the island of Pemba. Many people, however, think the Papa Bauer has political affiliations. The rise of the tax from the 1990s seemed to be linked to local elections. That first recorded sighting from Pemba happened after the island experienced a political revolution. A string of attacks seems to occur every election time in not just the islands of Pemba and Zanzibar, but even one attack has been reported on the mainland in Tanzania. This brings up another popular myth that the Papa Bauer is the ghost of the very first president of Zanzibar, Abayid Karume, who became president in 1964 after a revolution saw the last reigning sultan deposed of his title. In 1972, President Karume was assassinated in Zanzibar town. 
it is said that the Papa Bauer is his spirit seeking revenge for his murder. Unlike most demons and supernatural creatures who do not like to be seen, the Papa Bauer wants to be known, and it is said that if a victim does not reveal to the public that they have been attacked, the creature will come for them again. Locals are always advised to speak up if they are ever attacked. Supernatural creatures who are politically motivated seem a rare breed indeed, and the fact that the legend of the Papa Bauer is so recent makes it one of Africa's scariest and most intriguing mysteries. <laughs>